another video for you today. Hey! Come on, people. Every time you see me, you know you should pay attention. Because you know I got good stuff. And I'm bringing you good information. So don't have me say pay attention. But laziness will cause you pain. So pay attention. Video today. You in it, you know it, I know it. You're in a confrontation. You in an individual. Start mounting off. In your mind. You should be thinking. Here it comes again. Right for my head. Let me show you what I'm talking about. To another level. You get into it, whatever conversation. Yo, man, I'm sorry, man. No, 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 no. you've been sitting on my car. This is the fourth yo, yo, time you've been sitting on yo, my car, Yo, I know, man. but I'm trying to tell yo, you. Man, I don't want to hear yo, that, man. Yo, listen, yo, God, I'm making it. Listen, man, I said I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry bro. Sorry every yo, time can we shake hands? No, I'm sorry, can we shake hands? No, no. Now, you try to talk your way out of this, and the guy's not letting you talk your way out of this. You should be thinking from the second he rejects your offer to let it go, to let it slide, to have nothing to do with it. Yo, I'm sorry to back down. You humbling yourself. And the guy's not accepting any kind of apology. Next thought you should have. Oh, this dude's going to try to knock me out. This dude's going to try to punch me in the face. So instantly while you're doing that, you got to have your hands up. You got to start talking to him with your hands up. I showed this to you a thousand times. Don't sit there and go, yo, man. Don't do this. Watch your hands. Don't go, yo, man. I told you I was sorry. I said I'm sorry, okay? So what's up? This is gonna say, are we gonna do something? No! Don't stop putting your hand down to show him that you are looking me in the eye and you, you have no fear. Oh, hell no! You better show fear. You better have some fear. Because you can get punched in the face so fast, you don't even know you got punched in the face and knocked the hell out. So always, yo, God, I said I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Whatever. Why can't we squash it? Not that big of a deal. Let it go. Stop talking with your hands. I did a video called The Window. Use The Window. It's there for you. We're going to connect that video to this one for those of you who didn't see it. The Window of Opportunity. Here, so you know why you're talking, it's coming. Here it comes. Now, when he goes off and try to sneak it in there, you now, the guys, you got a choice. You have a choice. He throws that punch. Maybe you could back up. Maybe. Are you certain you got the room? Are you sure you want to start that? Because the second you back up, understand if he's in rage, he's coming forward with a whole lot of rage. That's like a rhinoceros coming at you, like a rhino. He can move faster forward than you can move backwards. So you sure you want to do this? You sure you want to do that? If that's what you practice? Do you know how many martial artists I know? Can he throw a hook punch? I want you to make sure you get my feet. Make sure you get my feet. Can he? How many martial artists, even, even the ones that practice this, Chamber, throw the punch. Do you know how many guys I know when they throw that punch and freeze, practice moving back first, or they practice again, moving moving back with one leg? We have a th thing called a vigisotes. In the vigisotes, we don't do this. We don't move back like this at a deep step. In the VG sautés, it's palm up, palm down, touch and go. So, so the motion, Professor V understood this. He didn't do this. Put your hand in chamber or move back. Professor V understood that it's this, this. The movement is this, this. So when the man came, it's this, this. You're moving forward immediately. We never step back. But I know so many grandmasters that when they do their technique, throw that punch again, they step back to do that movement. I told you before in another video, why is that so bad? Because once again, get my feet. If my first movement, when he throws a punch, is to step back, 
What if I got no room to step back? And I practice all the time. Stepping back, stepping back, stepping back, stepping back. I got a wall there. I'm screwed, because now my rhythm and my timing is messed up because I can't step all the way back. But back to the video. I just wanted, that's a bonus. That's not what I wanted to show you, okay? See, today you got extra. Now, Kenny, come on this side. Here it comes again. So he's throwing a haymaker to your head. Of course, your hands are up, your window is there. So if you got no coordination, no balance, no rhythm, no timing, then you gotta rely on your window and work from there. But if you got a little rhythm and you understand, you got some reflexes, as soon as you see that, you're gonna do this. You're gonna duck. But once again, we're not boxes, so we don't duck and come up. And we don't duck and strike and stay in the same place. Once again, V-stepping, we duck while he's here and we slide. Now, from here, I showed you we got a lot of options. Number one thing is to keep your face and your body tight to his. Because if he tries to do a spinning elbow, you got the elbow block. From here, you don't have a lot of time. Slow motion. If he tries to do a spinning elbow, you just sit him down because it's a motion. Motion causes motion. You sit him down, you get on top, hit him a couple of times, jump the hell up and start working. Don't grapple. But once you're here, once again, head punch please, and you're here, now, easiest and simplest thing to do is to bring the back leg forward and do a quick takedown. So now he's down, stomp him out or disengage and pull your weapon. Another option, if you can see it, once again, coming, your hands are here. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna check him. See, let me show that to you from this angle. Kenny, did you see that? Did you feel that? Oh, I felt it. So I didn't see it though. What happened, what I did was, as he punched, I went right into the solar plexus as he was punching. So I had my hands here, I'm talking, I realized he's gonna come off on me, boom! See, I'm, it's kinda like checking. It's kinda like checking. So he wants to come in with that punch, power. So I'm pushing into his solar plexus while I'm ducking. So all I'm doing is whoo, into the solar plexus. And when his hand goes there, whack, hit that leg. I hit this leg, so whoo, hit that leg. Now, change that focus, blow that kneecap out, and I start stepping on ankles. Or, once again, if I see that motion, and I get to this point here, I just slide down and take him down, hold that leg, because he's got to use it. He's going to bring it in to kick me with it, and when he brings it in to kick me with it, I'm going to step on the groin, and that foot goes flat to the floor. This I hold, I stomped on the groin, then I shift this out of my way, and I start attacking him. Another option I have, once I'm here, see guys, you gotta practice these things. I'm here, I'm talking, I'm expecting it, I see motion coming from my head, I do this, I get my hand around, now watch what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna do this and do a takedown, I'm gonna drop down and I'm going to grab his leg. As I'm going down, as he goes down, I'm gonna pull his leg and I'm just gonna start pulling him before he can start using the leg against me. I'm gonna drag him right where I want him. Right where I want him and start blam! Stomping him out. Guys, this is powerful. You seen the video with the knife guy, the guy's in prison. What he did when the guy threw that strike, he ducked down and he worked, the, worked low, worked the lights. 
It's no different. It's no different. Once, all you gotta do is expect to get punched in the face. Expect it, it's coming. It's going to happen, especially when you gave him a way out and he didn't take it. So it's coming. Don't wait for it. My advice, don't wait for it. The second we go back and forth, yo, man, and I say, yo, you, guys, told you I'm sorry, man. Tell me, yo, I don't want to hear sorry, man. Yo, I don't want to hear sorry, man. Yo, guys, can we, can we forget no, this? No, can't forget this. Man. Boom, that's it. The second you tell me you can't forget, say you no, can't. No, I can't. Whoa. The second he say he's not going to let it go, don't wait. What are you waiting for? He already made up his mind to hurt you. So be smart about it. Understand what reality combat is all about. This is combat. It's not a joke. It's not a game. It's not for trophies. It's not for sport. This is combat and survival. These people in the street today are taking no prisoners. They don't give a damn if you're a man, woman, or child, or the elderly. They don't care. So you have to learn the principles and the concepts and the strategies that they use against us and flip it around on them. It's important. And you got to have personal development. You got to be able to master your emotions so you can, you can, you can sell it so you can get it off. If you all up in your feelings, you can't do it because you're gonna it's gonna show. So you gotta be able to sell it. Can't even tell them what. Guys, to do. if you like what you just seen, guys, drop us a like right now, guys. Remember to turn on notifications and please share this video, guys. Share this video with as many people as you know, guys. We're just trying to get the viewership up. You know, get more subscribers to our channel, and that happens with you and your support. Once again, thank you very much. We'll see you in the next one. Peace. To another level.